to move on because I see Paul Canning um, from our platinum sponsor, IEEE, is going to come up and uh, talk to us now. And he's been patiently waiting while we listened. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Paul Canning, and I work for IEEE. And I just want to chat here for a few minutes. Don't worry. It's only five or six minutes about um, IEEE here in Ireland and about a new analytics tool that IEEE has, which I think you'll find is interesting. So today in Ireland, thanks to the IRL group and Rita and her colleagues, seven universities in Ireland have the complete collection of IEEE peer-reviewed journals, conferences, standards, IET journals, IET conferences. And also the Dublin Institute of Technology and also 11 other institutes of technology throughout Ireland. So from a access to content point of view, Ireland is very much as access to this very important collection in um, technology. So the next step for, from IEEE's point of view is to come up with, so it's a massive 3.4 million document collection. How do we get knowledge out of that? And how do we get value out of that? So the next step is to come up with analytics tools. And we looked very specifically for a community of users in the IP world, intellectual property world. And when we do analysis of patents that are granted by the US Patent Office, by the European, uh, in Asia, those patent offices as well, when you see a large block of data of patents that are granted to organizations, you see that IEEE is cited the most, and by a lot like three times more than the second scientific, technical, or medical publisher, IEEE is cited the most. So we've established a link between the high-tech literature of IEEE, is found in the IEL collection, and patents, and inventions, and new innovations that are granted by the patent offices. So part of this process is called prior art searching. When a patent is granted, a prior art search has to be done related patents to the new technology, the new innovation, and related non-patent literature. And non-patent literature is just a jargon for the scientific, technical, medical publishing that we all have in our collections. So Innovation Q Plus is a tool that has just been launched on February 1st, 2016. So you're one of the first communities to just, um, that we've introduced this to. So that's my job today, Innovation Q Plus. So it's developed specifically for IP professionals at technology transfer offices at universities, at intellectual property offices at corporations, and also intellectual property offices at government research institutions. So the key to this, it has a large collection of content, but the key is a search engine, a semantic search platform that is driven by neural networks and machine learning. It's semantic search. It's not just looking at keywords found in the search statement and keywords found in the abstract. That's so 20th century. This is 21st century. It's the concept of the search, and it's the concept of all of the articles around it. Now, the other key point of this is the visualization function. Jane showed us a gorgeous um, twit, uh, Twitter analysis of the linking between the community here. And this has the same sort of visualization within a concept, a new innovation, and all of the key um, concepts around it, and also what organizations own the patents related to it. So if you're in competitive intelligence, you can see what space, the white space, that hasn't been covered, where you want your corporation or your group to, um, to generate new technology in an area that hasn't been covered. So again, the unique value is, let's start with the content, 3.4 million IEEE journals, conferences, and standards, a global database of 70 million patents from all the key patent offices throughout the world. 
plus the patent applications. So patent applications, even before the patent's granted, becomes valid patent um, prior art, okay? So that's an important collection too. Um, proprietary art databases. Um, oh, and university licensable technology. That's a database of universities throughout the world who have proprietary content, proprietary licensable technology in encryption perhaps, shout out to Allison. And um, so that is licensed as well. So that's all part of the prior art searching that's available. PubMed central data also. So this um, benefits multiple groups. Again, it's not viewed today as a tool for the broad spectrum, although it may evolve that way. It's viewed for the IP professional, whether they're patent attorneys, um, patent liaisons, technology transfer offices at universities, or executive management at technology organizations. So here's just a view of, for example, a map of subsurface anomalies, and the concepts are um, seismic, electromagnetic, water plant, and it shows all of the content around it related to that prior art, and it also shows using a color mapping all of the organizations that own patents in those spaces. So it's quite a powerful tool, it's very quick, we're quite pleased with that. So remember, it's a semantic search tool. It's uniquely tuned to IP. There is um, an encryption involved, so there is privacy for organizations. Um, IP.com does not save any of the searches. If you're using Google patent search today, you're um, thinking about new technology and sharing it with Google, which may not always be strategically smart. Um, so that's another benefit as well. And it's not Boolean searching. So it's um, the speed to using the tool effectively. It's very short, the time to, to get up to speed. is very short, not Boolean searching. Um, you can take the whole paragraph, the abstract from a patent that you want to submit and drop it in the box and then you understand if it's been invented before. You're saving a lot of time. Or if you're writing a paper that's in the IEEE world of technology, has this been written before? So it's, I think there's a lot of benefits to it. So we're very happy to introduce it to you. You can have a free trial. Um, work with my colleagues at Content Online, Stephen Tweedy and um, Julia. And, uh, and it will be Julia Stockdale, sorry, Julia. And um, so we're looking forward to chatting with you more about it. I'm enjoying being here at ASL, and uh, thank you for having me. Thanks very much, Paul. Uh